Hey guys, Johnny here with Knife Climax, bringing you an SEO deck tech. It's yellow blue with a splash of red for level zero. So let's get started. For a level zero game, I run four runner Kirito's. I'm on attack, give a scene on 1000, and at the beginning of your opponent's attack phase, mill the top card of your deck. If it's an avatar or net, he can run to an empty spot in the center stage. So, solid card, mid game and late game, he can pump your Xenons up pretty big. Also, you can mill with him mid game just to get some damage off the top of your deck without even running. And at level 0, he's ideally what you want to play because he runs so he stays on the field and he makes it so you hit level 1 before your opponent. So I run 4 because you, I really need to draw him an opening hand, but if I don't, there's Asuna's homemade cooking. One or less other, she gets 1,000 and a level, so she hits 3,000 level 1. And she has a brainstorm, pay 1, mill 4 for every climax you hit. She gets 1 low, uh, one soul and 1,000 power. So, she's a good loner card, with uh, an assist, she's 3-5, level 1, so she can't get hit with reversers. And she also has a brainstorm, so early on if you hit climaxes, she can help pay them out. And if you still can't kill anything with that, I run 3... Um, level Reverser Silicas, on play, reveal the top card, if it's an avatar net, add it to your hand, discard a card. So early on she's a level reverser, late game she's a hand fix, so really good card, you can use her basically at any time in the game. Next is 2 of Elizabeth's Blessing, on play, pay 1, bond for Asuna, invites the party. And um, when she attacks she gets all Asuna's 500, so she can help boost Asuna's kind of, but she's mainly here to bond for your level 1 game. Next, I run three Asuna's Married Life. Um, 500 front, when you play a climax, she gets gives something 1,000. So it helps you get spontaneously big um, and solid assist overall. Um, I put in one scene on Brainstorms. Her Brainstorm is pay one, mill four for every climax you hit, search for X, um, and then discard X. X equal to the number of climaxes you hit. So she's a spammable, search, brainstorm, and hand fix. And her second effect is during your opponent's turn, the center slot gets 1,000 power. So she doesn't do, she's not one of those assist um, brainstorms that don't do anything in the back row. So she does something in the back row, which is nice. And then I have one Silica's Unyielding Trust. Her brainstorm is pay one, rest two. She enters its salvage for every climax you hit. Um, since the deck doesn't run gates anymore, it has it needs a way to salvage. So she's that method of salvage. And at 16 level zeros, so on to level one. For level one, we have four Austin invites to parties. Um, if you have three or more other avatar nets, she gets 1,000 power, so she hits 5-5. Five, five. And her second effect, she combos with the wind and or shot trigger. On attack, pay one and search your deck for an avatar net. So, um, good card, she gets, she's moderately big, well, she's basically a villain with an effect. And her combo is really good because if you pl play the climax, and say you hit a, a CX over here, and then you can just attack with her next and then pay it out immediately. So she helps keeps your stock clean and she pluses you. And then next, we run three Xenons. Um, Encore. Basically, she's 4,000 power and she gets 500 for every other avatar net on the field. And she has Clock Encore. So, since SAO rides its level 1 game into level 3, it's essential you have one or two of these on the field just to keep your field up since you're basically going to be going up against decks with, that actually run level 2s, maybe. So, and if not, she's she's 106k, which is nice. Next, I tucked in one. Um, lead group Asuna twice per turn when you use an activate ability or an S ability, she gives um, she gets 1,000 power. So ideally, you use it with this brainstormer right here, 500 global, and um, you can pay one brainstorm mill four for every climax you hit, give an avatar net 2,000 power. So activate ability or S ability, so she gets um, bigger. And this card I put in here because I've been trying to make it good for a long time. It's kind of like the Umi brainstorm. 500 global and a brainstorm, but hers is spammable and it gets power instead. So I've been I'm try, I'm testing it out. I think it's a good card. Next is two um, vice commander Asanas. 
This card is a 1,000 backup, and when you use the backup, you have two or more avatar nets. It, um, you can give 1,000 to another character, so splittable 2k, costless backup. And then two self-sacrifice. Just a 1, 1, 3, 5 event backup. Helps keep your field alive. And that's 14 level 1s. On to level 2. Level 2 is really small in SAO because they don't really have that many good cards. So, 1 Lightning Flash Asuna. On your turn, if she's facing a level 3, she gets 4,000 power and a soul, and everything that she reverses is sent to stock. So, I chose to run this over the 2 1 Xenon from the new EB, be mainly because of that second ability. People see it as a demerit because the, you can just crash level 0s into it and then your opponent gets stock. But, um,. Many times when I was running the Xenon and I would successfully reverse their level 3 Marikas and then they would just pay 3 Encore and then I'd lose next turn. So she's here to send um, pesky level 3s into stock so they can't Encore it. So. And then we have two of these Ice Machine Xenons, um, 1000 front and you can rest her to make one of your opponents unable to use backups or event backups so it's basically rest her and guarantee a battle. Um, really good late game, and she's also a thousand front, so not a level assist. So since you have so many level zeros, the one thousand power helps boost your level ones even bigger. And then two leaf of backups. Um, cost one, two five backup. When you use the backup, you can reveal the top card if it's an avatar net added to your hand and discard a card. So late game, she helps get damage off the top of your deck and help you survive. And she's a two five backup if you need it. But I don't really use this card at level 2, I mainly save it in my hand at level 3 for, say, when I'm about to get hit for game. So it just gives you, like, a second chance, basically. So, 5 level 2s. For level 3, we have 3 Asuna's Commanding Strength. Um, on play, heal, and then when she attacks, you can pay 1 to discard a card to um, give all your avatar nets 500 and a soul. So really situational game ender, but she, if you're about to refresh, you can pay out climaxes or even ditch climaxes with her. So she's not the best, but she's not the worst either. And then the main level 3 game is four of these level 3 Xenons. Um, she's a heal on play, and she combos with the book trigger. When she attacks, you can pay 2, discard a card, and... If you do, burn your opponent for 4. If they cancel, she gets um, 3,500 until the end of their turn. So, if if the damage sticks, then you just hit your opponent for 4, and you're swinging for 3, which is an entire level. So, if it sticks, you're basically about to win anyways. If she, it doesn't, she gets really big and helps defend herself and her opponent's turn. And her last effect is when she dies, she goes to memory, so you can't heal her, sadly. So that's three, four, seven level threes. And for the climaxes, we have four wins and four books. So I just on to how I use the deck. Okay, so level zero, um, you want to play this um, Murder Kirito. He's essential to your level zero game. He runs around, staying alive, knowing your opponent. Um, he lets you get hit up for more damage so you can level one before your opponent. And if you aren't fortunate enough to draw him, there is the um, boss over here that becomes a 3 5 level one with an assist. She, like I said, she can brainstorm early on to help keep your stock clean. And there's the silicas here in case you can't um, run over anything with this. So level zero is really basic, just run around with Kirito and try to get to level 1 before your opponent, because that's where SAO really shines. At level 0, you want to play one of these globals. I try to play at least two invites to the parties along with its climax combo, and it's just ideally what you want to do at level um, 1, but she is most likely going to get reversed on your opponent's turn, so having these seen on as a backup plan is not really too bad. She has clock on her, so she stays on the field more like, longer than this card. But if you get two turns off of this climax combo, then you're already pretty well ahead. Since the deck doesn't have um, level reversers at level 1, this 1-1 one, one Asuna helps you get over really large characters. And of course, on their turn, you have two different types of backups to help defend yourself. 
at level 2, um, we should this up and replace it with this. So now you have a guarantee battle one, um, at least one battle every turn. So and it's also a thousand front, so your characters get bigger. If you're playing change, play this um, two on lightning flash to kill the early level threes, or you can play this at level three too, depending on. Like I said, they have a really good game engine on the field. Just play it and just get rid of it. Um, at level three, it depends on if I have the book in my hand or not. If not. I play these Asanas first, just to get some heals out. And because if I play my Xenons and I don't have the Climax combo, it's kind of useless. She just becomes a generic healer. And I'd much rather have Asana with an actual ability. Also, if Xenon gets reversed, she goes to memory, so I just lost my game ender right there. But if you do have the um, book in play, play your Xenons and then the book, of course. And just try to burn your opponent for game. If the, you hit them for four, then you're probably gonna win. If you don't, then she stays pretty big, and your opponent just basically crashes into her next turn. So, overall, I think the deck runs pretty simply. It's just beat over stuff. Level zero, try to get to level one before your opponent. Level one, just search with the invites to parties, um, and just build up stock basically through level two to drop all your level threes at level three, and then just go for broke. So yeah guys, that's the deck, and I guess going into alternatives that you can run. So at level 0, if you don't want to run the um, Osiris Homemade Cooking, there is the um, Liz on Sofa. Um, she's an okay card, the reason I use the um, Homemade Cooking is she, she she gets a level and this one doesn't. Also on play, you have to reveal the top and it's a not an avatar, not character, or card. It goes to your um, clock. So late game, she's kind of a day troll. And late game with the homemade cooking, I can always brainstorm to get soul to probably go for exact damage. Situational, but overall, basically, I use the homemade cooking over this one because I can play late game without fear of dying. Um, at level one, there is the shot trigger version of Star Splash. If you um, know about that, it's just player preference. Really. Also, you notice in the deck, I do not have Austin to take shelter. The infamous Mark Rossina. Um, the reason being is the um, level one game lately has been pretty large, so she's really hard to defend now. Um, at best, she's a six-five after getting one marker if you hit level one first, and then at that point you have to have maybe a self-sacrifice in your hand to um, defend her like, for one more turn. So I I did used to use her, but. Um, she just hasn't been really doing much for me. She's just kind of a dead draw, really. Um, late game, she just clock fodder. And um, if I don't get her early off, she's pretty bad. And if I, even if I do get her off, she gets reversed pretty easily nowadays. So she's not as good as she used to be, I guess I'm trying to say. There's also an alternative to delete group is this 1-1 one, one, Asuna's gent Gentle Appearance. She has Clock Encore, which is nice, and her other effect is on your turn, she gets 500 for every rested. The reason I don't use this card is because um, even though she does have Clock Encore, she's kind of a more offensive card because only on your turn does she get the power. And um, I just like the Elite Group more because I can use my backups and, and help distribute um, the power more. So Elite Group's a little more defensive and this one's a little more aggressive, but it's player preference. And at level 2, there is the 2-1 Xenon. Um, on both players' turn, if she's facing a level 3, she gets 3,000 power. So she has 10k, and you can rest two characters to give her 2 high. So not necessarily without... Um, she still is within backup range to level 3s, but if you have the Ice Machine, she basically runs over level 3s. But this, the problem with her is that she doesn't set a stock like Lightning Flash, so... They can easily pay 3 on like I said. And for game enders, there is the Beacon of Hope Asuna. Um, on the turn she's played, she has Shot Trigger, so if they cancel Burn 1, um, it's, it's okay, but I'd much rather get my Burn before I attack. And then there is the on play Pay 1 Burn Silica, that gets 500 um, Avatar Net, other Avatar Net Dra Dragon characters. 
moves. She's an okay card. It's just... I don't know. Usually when I play her, I don't feel like paying 3 for my level 3. Even though she does get pretty big, she just... I'd much rather pay 2 and burn 4. And if I can't, so I get power instead. Which, with the power, she'd already be bigger than Silica anyways. So. so those are some alternatives. And that's my deck, guys. I uh, hope you liked it. Comment, rate, and subscribe for more deck texts and games openings. So yeah, see you later.